The other day, I finally watched Paddington, a movie based on the children's book series by Michael Bond. It's a delightful film, but as I was watching, I couldn't help but think of another recent movie I'd seen. Paddington reminded me, naturally, of Wonder Woman. On the surface, the two films may not seem very alike, but dig a little deeper and you'll find a striking number of similarities. Both films are origin stories of beloved characters based on extensive book series spanning half a century or more. Both films were well-reviewed, but share the flaws of an overlong action scene in the third act and an over-the-top villain who doesn't quite match the tone of the rest of the film. The main characters are also similar and share similar backgrounds. Both are raised in idyllic isolation, but have their peaceful life interrupted by a catastrophe, which kills someone they love. Unable to return to their former life, both decide to travel to London by boat to search for their own place in the world. They both expect this to be a simple process. How hard could it really be to get adopted by a family or to end the Great War? But slowly both realize that things won't be as easy as they thought. Modern city life is confusing. The world is far darker and more complicated than they imagined, and people are not as kind or as good as they thought. But in spite of this, both characters continue trying to do the right thing and go out of their way to help the people around them, even if they don't fully understand what's going on. Diana charges across no man's land without regard for caution or strategy, and Paddington tries to return a man's wallet, not realizing that the man had stolen it in the first place. But none of those similarities were what first jumped out to me about these two films. What I noticed was how gently both movies handle the naivete of their main character, how they respect their innocence. While both characters make foolish mistakes, the movies never belittle them for it. While both films have fun with the fish-out-of-water dynamic when the characters reach London, they never make jokes at the expense of the characters themselves. While both characters are inexperienced, the movies never confuse that naivete with stupidity. And herein lies the refreshing thing about both these films. They are unironic celebrations of goodness, a message that is almost subversive in its own lack of subversiveness. For all the darkness these two characters experience, they escape their ordeals untouched by cynicism. While Paddington learns that maybe you shouldn't just immediately trust a random stranger, in the end he is adopted by a loving family who he happened to meet at the train station. While Diana learns that war is caused more by human weakness than the influence of some evil god, in the end she still decides to adopt and protect the human race. Both characters learn something about the world, and yet their fundamental attitude of optimism and an almost rash kindness remains unchanged. I find that a lot of modern films, even very good films, have perspectives on the world that range from dark to cynical. I don't know, maybe I just haven't been watching the right stuff, but Paddington and Wonder Woman are two of the few films that I've walked away from recently with feelings of uplift and optimism. These are fantasy stories, of course, and in the real world, doing the right thing isn't always rewarded. But we don't need every movie to be a perfect reflection of reality, or every hero to demonstrate the frailty of humanity. In the real world, it feels like the people we hold in the highest regard, or at least those who are in power, are also the most likely to be hiding dark secrets. We need stories that contrast with what we see on the news every day, and remind us there are kind people in the world, and kindness is good, and sometimes... That is enough.